Today we're going to learn how to check spark and fuel the easy way. With no special tools whatsoever on that Honda Accord. Stay tuned. Alright, so today I get a call out from a guy. He's got a 2002 Honda Accord. No start condition. So I pull up. And he says he's done the battery, the spark plugs, the idle air control valve. He's done a, basically put a whole bunch of parts on it and it hasn't fixed the issue. And he said that he's pretty much at his wits end and wants to figure out what exactly is causing the issue. So I show up and I check all the basic stuff, you know, it's cranking, no start. Uh, battery's obviously fine, starter's obviously fine. So, you know, you need three things for the engine to start. You need spark, you need fuel, and you need compression. And it's usually easier to go ahead and start with fuel and ignition or spark. So I went ahead and checked those first. Unfortunately on this vehicle, the way that the spark plug wires are set up, uh, my little spark tester tool that I have in my diagnostic bag was not compatible. So that's the main reason why I chose to test the spark plugs in the method that I chose. So I'm going to go ahead and put each one of those tests up right after this so you can see them. And keep in mind that these are videos that I used personally to diagnose the vehicle before posting them on YouTube. When you're out here as a mobile mechanic and you're working by yourself, you don't really have anybody else that can watch it for you or that can crank the engine over for you. I mean, sometimes you do, but you gotta be resourceful and independent and figure out ways of doing things completely by yourself when you're out here. So right here is gonna be the four different spark tests that I did. So as you can see, each one of those spark plugs was in fact firing. So the next thing I wanted to do was check to see if fuel was getting to the engine. So normally there's a little tire cap looking deal on your fuel rail and you can just loosen that up and push down on the valve and that will show you if you have fuel. But in this case, they don't have one of those. So I had to go ahead and loosen up the fuel pressure regulator and then crank the engine and that will help me determine if there was any fuel getting to the engine from the fuel pump. And here's that video. Check the spark, now we're going to check for fuel. So we got spark, we got fuel. The only other thing we hadn't checked is compression. And based on the way the engine sounds when I try to start it up, I'm thinking there may be a compression issue. So this video is about how to check spark and fuel on your O2 Honda Accord, but it's also kind of about uh, charging customers for your time, not for a guaranteed answer. I spent roughly an hour there. We charge about an hour for the spark plug job alone, and I pretty much did that while I was there just to test the, uh, the uh, spark. And so I charged the customer for an hour, told him what I'd like to do next if we decide to move forward with further diagnostics, which is a compression test. Also, the vehicle has over 200,000 miles, has the original serpentine belts, super cracked up. So chances are it probably has the original timing belt as well. 
and so you know this engine may likely end up needing to be replaced I'm not a hundred percent sure but the point is you want to always start checking the basics and you always want to check or you always want to charge customers for your time not for a guaranteed answer I appreciate y'all staying tuned in appreciate all the subscribers let's try to get that up much higher I'd like to see a hundred subscribers here in the next week or so and I got plenty more good videos to come so stay tuned